It's your birthday, go and light it up. What's up everybody, Roderick here with the One More Triple Driver Bluetooth earphones and boy am I excited. Recently I did a video on the One More Quad Driver wired earphones and they sounded amazing. I was very impressed, really fell in love with them and this is a Bluetooth version although it has one less driver but I'm expecting them to sound amazing. Being triple driver earphones, these have one dynamic driver and two balanced armatures for some amazingly accurate sound quality. These have Bluetooth 4.2 technology paired with a high res LDAC for a lossless Bluetooth listening experience. They take about one hour to fully charge for seven hours of continuous use but with a 10 minute quick charge you can get up to three hours of use which is amazing now enough of all this jibber jabber let's take a look at these uh amazing high quality filling packaging just like the quad drivers i'm super excited about this we have high-res audio and they're the red dot award winner of 2018 see i wasn't lying oh they look so nice oh i'm loving it we got that same design as the quads that ldac and bluetooth i ain't never tell no lie you got that right oh no once again we got to be gentle with this one Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we got it. Just like the quad drivers, amazing packaging. Let's get to this and make sure you guys enjoy it. Over on the left side, look at those schematics. That is what we're working with, and that's how they made these. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look how thick this is. So solid. Oh, and boy, does it continue. We have a wider range of different ear tips for your ears, including silicone and foam tips. Amazing. They even went as far as including a flat USB Type-C cable. Awesome. Ooh, a nice drawstring bag, of course. And look at that bear. One more. Oh, it smells just like one of those floaties for a pole. <laughs> you can scan the bear to download the One More Assistant app. Oh, one more sticker. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a little pamphlet of a bunch of other One More products. Amazing. As well as a user guide. And then on to the headphones. Oh, yeah. First things first, we have the neckband. One more branding on it. Nice rubberized feel. Definitely going to be comfortable. We got all the batteries and technology going on right here in the neckband. That way it's not pulling on your ears. Over on the left side, we have the inline controls, volume and track controls, microphone, as well as play and pause and power button. Boy, did they do a good job hiding that USB Type-C port. It took me a little bit to find it, but right here, boom, there she blows. Making our way down to the earphones, they feel nice. Wow, they feel so solid. Like, wow. That's amazing. We have right and left indicators on the earbuds. One more on the inside. Just look at that shine. Look at that look. You gotta imagine how good these feel. Nice ear tips. Oh, and look at that quality. It's really weird how they do this. It feels like it has weight because it's so solid, although it's not heavy when you're wearing them. Let's get these things powered on. And there we go. They showed right on up. And we're connected. Look at that LDAC. I have never seen that before. So here's something that's really awesome. If you want to use that LDAC, you go into the Bluetooth settings and right down here, provide a high quality audio experience. Just turn that on. Although keep in mind, it does use more power and it also might not have as much range because of Bluetooth limitations. But if you want that quality, turn that thing on. Now that we got these things paired up, let's see how well they fit. Wow. They feel great, definitely getting a good seal. Wow, it's so light, like it feels like they're not actually touching my ears. Definitely very comfortable. Let's do the shake test. Woo, oh, stayed in my ears just fine though. Now that that's done, let's see how well they sound with Tidal Masters. It's your birthday, go and light it up. Listen for noise leakage at maximum volume. Now let's check audio and video latency. Now let's check microphone quality. What's up everybody? Right now we're testing out the one more triple driver Bluetooth earphones. This is the raw audio from a phone call right to you from me. This is exactly what it's gonna sound like if you make a phone call to somebody. Let me know what you guys think of it quality wise. Does it sound good? Is it canceling out any background noise? I got all this stuff going on. Whoa my gosh, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, cool. I'm banging on the table. Can you still hear me good? I hope so. I really need some people to be talking in the background, but I'm a loner, so this is all I got. Let's move on to the verdict. Woo, boy, did I just have an experience, and I'm going to let you in on it. Cliff Notes version just for you guys. Spoiler alert. 
it was amazing. First things first, fit, comfort, and feel. They feel really good. They're extremely comfortable in my ears. They don't feel like they're actually in there. It's crazy. They block out a lot of the outside noise, but also remain extremely comfortable. It's insane. The neck band is very comfortable around my neck, although there is one thing that I guess I'm just not used to because this is the first pair of headphones that I've had that are like this, but the actual controls are on the neck band itself instead of like being on here, hanging from your ear, you know? So I have to remember to reach over here, remember where the buttons are, but that's just because it's the first time I've had headphones like this, so I just gotta get used to it, I guess. It's not really a negative, I'm just not used to it, you know? One thing I did notice is the earbuds don't have magnets in them to hold them together when you're not wearing them, so they just hang there, which a lot of other Bluetooth earphones do have, although this one does have a little clip here that you can clip like this and I guess it gets the job done it's a little bit harder than putting a magnet together but I'm thinking maybe there wasn't enough room in here to put a magnet in here because it does have the triple drivers so that's a possibility although I guess it doesn't even matter that much because you have this around your neck so it should be staying on there no matter what right now audio quality it's an experience all right we have the LDAC we have Bluetooth we have Tidal Masters and Tidal Hi-Fi that combination right there amazing it has some deep bass the mids and highs are very pronounced the overall soundstage and balance is amazing definitely very accurate sound i'm not sure why but these are the first earphones i've seen that have an LDAC in them i didn't even know that was a thing so what are the other companies waiting for come on now it's 2019 we need LDACs in our bluetooth earphones the audio gets up really loud no distortion even at max volumes you can hear everything perfectly clear and crisp it's amazing phone call quality i'm able to hear the other caller just fine on my end you guys heard the microphone test for yourself so that's exactly what it sounds like if I'm calling you from these earphones so you guys can take that as you will to be honest I didn't listen to it yet so I'm going in blind audio and video latency was in sync awesome perfect great you can watch movies and enjoy that LDAC overall should you get these what's the final verdict um yes you probably should although I mean there is an elephant in the room these are pretty pricey for Bluetooth earphones although you gotta think quality it's gonna cost you right you gotta pay to play if you want some of the best sounding Bluetooth earphones with an LDAC it's probably the way to go. Now, of course, you could get cheaper ones without an LDAC, without triple drivers, etc. but you know, it is gonna sound a little less. So if you're not an audiophile, maybe you don't need them because you're happy with what you have, but if you want some high quality sound, link down below. And plus, they just look awesome, they feel awesome, they feel super high quality. When you go from some cheaper earphones to these, you can definitely tell the difference. So if you wanna pick up a pair of these, I'll throw the link down below in the description. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if you have tried an LDAC, tried triple drivers with Bluetooth, all of that good stuff. What you guys thought of them, if you're gonna pick up a pair of these, or if you have some other favorite earphones that you guys want me to check out, maybe? Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.